representing the 17 to 24 foot class in the bay boat category. The Craval 24 Bay has an overall length of 23 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Designed to float shallow and run over open water, she has a draft of 12 inches, a dead rise of 16 degrees, a dry weight of 3,200 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 70 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, welcome aboard the 24 Bay Boat from one of my favorite companies, Craval. Certainly one of our most popular boats on last year's show with their 26. This 24 Bay is a boat that's been around for five years since the company started, and it still it remains a popular boat today, and for a good reason. I say we get to it, start looking at it, and find out what it is. You know, the use of space up here can't be overlooked. We've got a big fore deck right here, and the fore deck is a great fishing platform for you when you want to sneak out at daylight. You know, underneath that, there's a ton of storage. 10 rods below deck up here, okay? Your wife and kids don't ever even have to see them. They don't even have to know you got up one fish in the morning. So many boats now, thankfully, are going to the step up onto the casting platform. Which you love. So necessary for us old guys. You know, it doesn't stop there, Rick. There's three different storage boxes here also. You've got one in the center deck up here, another one there deep, and another one right here. And they're both built, I mean, they're tall enough to put buckets into for cast nets. You can just fit a ton of gear in all this storage space. Baitwell underneath this seat. You know, another thing too, this boat comes pre-wired for a trolling motor if you add one. There's a trim switch for the main motor right up there also and offset cleats so you can put the trolling motor in there and not have to deal with cleats. Why don't we move to the center of the boat and have a look at this hard top and this really slick helm. George, something just occurred to me. This console perfectly fits this boat. Think about all the bay boats and all the consoles. Sometimes the console is too wide, you can't walk through. Sometimes it's not big enough. This one holds plenty of stuff. This console fits this boat. It does, and it fits the driver too. I mean, I stand behind the wheel on this boat and it fits me. You've got a center locator, you can put a 12 inch, they go with the Simrad, fits perfectly in there, but just everything about it, it just seems like a comfortable place to run from. You've got a tilt steering wheel, your control for the jack plate is right there on the wheel. And also, you know, you've got this foot pad here for standing. I like to elevate my, put my heels down like that and lean back. You've got one there when you jump up and sit, you've got another one there above it. Let's look at some of the other details on this boat here, starting with the map lights. So you've got four lights up here. They can be either red, white, or blue. You switch them out. And the casting platform lights here, they're dimmable too. They start out on low, they come in white or blue. You know, here's another new innovation from Corval too. This is a totally new look for them, a new design. This helm station, it's got some really clever details going on. You know, it starts here with, you've got three separate flip-out storage con uh, containers right here. You've also got tackle drawers in the back and tackle trays in the back. You've got a cutting board, a sink here, removable cutting boards there, of course, rod holders. This boat, the fishing stuff on this boat, a couple of things that really jump out at me are back here. Let's have a look. George, you know, you mentioned what a great family boat this is. Yeah. Tell you what speaks to me about that. This center seat right here, you know, something interesting that Chad pointed out to me too that I never really thought about too is having the center seat as opposed to the outboard flip-up seats get you behind the wind, out of the spray. If you're out there running and things are getting wet, you're back there behind it, everything's going past you. And it's a wide seat, wide enough for a couple people to sit on. Let's push this thing down though and turn this into a casting platform. Well, now you're wide open to fish. Now you can put two anglers back here. Now, now all that cruising the sandbar stuff's gone away. It's ready to do some serious fishing. You've got two 28 gallon live wells, one in each corner. We're both standing over one. You've got this integrated transom kind of bracket going on. Something very clever I really got a kick out of. This hideable flip out ladder to board the boat too. Another useful feature. And we're seeing a lot of these showers located on the transom. Just a, really a great idea. Hop out of that salt water, want to rinse off, you can do it right there. George, we talked about it from the very outset. If you're going to be a new company and you're going to enter the bay boat market at this point of the product life cycle, it's either got to be cheaper or it's got to be better. I think Creval answered that real clearly with the 24 Bay. It's a better idea.